Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, or Tired Librarian Turned Homeschool Mom. And in this video, we're going to take another look at some videos on a history channel. Um, not the history channel. This is a channel, I'm going to double check this, on YouTube um, called History Tea Time with Lindsay Holiday. So I'm going to be looking at a couple of her history views. In this one, I'm going to be specifically looking at um, the queens and consorts of England and then the UK. So she goes through um, various, she has several videos here that goes up until the modern times. So it starts off with the Anglo-Saxon queens and consorts. Uh, so basically this one covers, it's about a 16 minute video that gives an overview of pretty much everybody, all the queens and consorts, because I think there's one male thrown in here. Um, oddly enough, all of them start with E, <laughs> which is very, very weird. But um, basically up to the uh, Norman, uh, Norman consort, the Norman conquest, i.e. Uh, William the Conqueror. So it covers everybody else. And this one uh, specifically, we're talking at England. Um, in this case, once they unite the three areas that become England, not including Scotland and Wales. So um, it's very interesting. Again, it's about 16 minutes long. It's a great kind of overview. It covers, and I will look at her site here. Um, these are the women it covers. So it does a good overview of what's going on here and the wars and the husbands and the, how they worked as mothers. So you have Elphigu of Shaftesbury. Uh, I'm just going to pronounce this. Elfsed of Dranham, another Elphigu. Uh, that doesn't have a last then, uh, connotation. Um, an Ethrith of Devon, another Elphigu, this one of York. An Emma of Normandy, um, this is a ma single male here. Um, Eldrith, Edith of Wessex, and Edigrith of Mercia. So those are the women and the single man that this is covering. So it talks a little bit about how their relationships with her husbands, where they come from, how they looked. She shows some images that she can find. Uh, sometimes, obviously, these are very, very old uh, histories. So you get paintings and things, and so you, and very faded old tas tapestries and things of what these women and this singular man actually looked like. But she talks in the 16 minutes. She talks about again their marriages to their husbands, their children. Um, and kind of their their legacy. So it's a very interesting little overview. Um, so as you, if you're um, looking into British history, this is kind of an interesting look, um, just because it, rather than looking at the actual kings and queens and everybody focuses on them, this looks at the consort, which can very play in an important role. They're supporting their husbands. Um, they're supporting their sons, and sometimes you know against their husbands depending on uh, what's going on here. So they pay uh, vital roles. Sometimes they calm their husbands down. Sometimes they're going with their husbands on crusades and various wars and desperately trying to have children because that's what you do. Um, because being an heir, making an heir makes your importance. Occasionally being imprisoned by your husband and released by your children, depending. So it's very interesting. But again, this covers the early part after the first king um, unites England, there were like three parts, three kingdoms, possibly more, who knows, but it unites what's now considered the whole of England, minus of course Wales and Scotland, and apparently not including the next island over, which would be Ireland. So it's a very good video, it's a very good overview, um, great educational content, not really all that long, it's only about 16 minutes long. Um, most of these videos in, the, in this case, um, I believe, do not exceed just by looking at them mm. the Stuart queens go to about 28 minutes and the modern queens go to 29 so uh, mostly they stick to under a half an hour so and they I think they lengthen as they go on so really interesting I'm a big British history fan <laughs> so I'm also I have a history nerd uh, my at least as much as I could focus in uh, undergrad was on this kind of medieval, early modern European um, history. So this interests me. So I find this very, very interesting. It's a great channel. Uh, you don't really see the um, creator. It's very much a um, voiceover. So why am I hearing that? Possibly my husband exercising, who knows? Uh, 
it's about 7.30 at night here. <laughs> so, but again, this is really very, very interesting. So be sure to check out that channel. I always link, link to the video below. Um, I'll probably be covering her more. She, I enjoy her. She's a recent, uh, recent find of mine since we do not have cable. Um, and as of this video, this is uh, February of 2022. We don't really have anything besides YouTube and um, Amazon Prime and using our library. So we don't have cable. This is what we can watch. So uh, that's really it for this uh, review here. So I'll link the link to this video in the description below. I am covering the rest of her series. So she is going through, you have the next video, which is the Norman Queens and Consorts, the Plagent, the Plagent Queens and Consorts, the War of the Roses Queens and Consorts, the Tudor Queens and Consorts, um, the Stuart Queens and Consorts, then you go to the Hanover Queens and Consorts, and you go into the uh, modern era. So she covers everything, and yes, I'm going to cover every single one of these videos because um, they're very, very interesting. So that is it. If you like what you see, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. Um, to balance these, when these are coming out, this is to balance the Princess Diary series. Slightly less serious. Okay, really, really less serious. They're fun. They're fluffy and they're fun. Um, also, I do a lot of other, um, other videos. Uh, some book series, a lot of standalone stuff. Um, a lot of education stuff. I do some fun videos um, in the case of films, so I cover those as well. So, as well as some educate, we're secular education stuff, particularly as my daughter gets older. Um, by the time you guys see this, she'll be just about, um, probably close to three and a half. So we'll be getting into that more as of the shooting of this. She's two and a half. <laughs> just over two and a half. Um, so that is coming. So the more secular education stuff, if, if we start getting into curriculums and stuff, I'll cover those. As well as some travel stuff. I've covered our local zoo and our local aquarium as well. And I'll probably try to uh, cover some other kind of local travel stuff if we can, or I'll do specific videos on specific attractions where we travel to. So be, for, be sure to look forward to those and check those out when they're available. So. If you have a positive comment, leave one and like and subscribe. Thank you.